Hey everyone, it's Akshay and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are creating responsive collapsible navigation menu using HTML and CSS. Most of the time, you will wonder that how Bootstrap Navbar works. So in this tutorial, we will cover all the concept of responsive and collapsible navigation menu. But except using Bootstrap, we will use HTML and CSS to style navigation and for generating events, we'll use jQuery library. So this tutorial is for beginners. This navigation will work on any type of devices like laptop, tablet and mobile devices. But before we start this tutorial, make sure you subscribe us and press the bell icon to get notification of my every new video and also press like button if you find anything useful in this tutorial. So as always we say, before we getting late, let's get started. First create a new folder on your local computer and open it in the visual code editor. In that folder or we will say in that project create index.html file and also create style.css file for styling html elements. Open index.html file and create a simple html5 snippets which contained viewport and caset. Then name your page title whatever you want. Just after that, we wanted to link style.css file. So we will link this file with the link tag and specify the path of the file in href attribute. Now we wanted to add icon in our project. So we will go to the Google and search for the font awesome icon. And from here, copy this CDN and paste it inside the hair tag. Now we are able to use all icons from the Font Awesome website. Let's begin creating a navigation menu. So we will align editor window. We already installed a live server in our code. So we'll just right click and select open with live server. Now you will see the live execution of navigation menu. So let's start creating responsive navigation menu. Create a nav tag and put div inside of it. Then apply navbar CSS class for this div. Inside of this div create anchor tag and specify your website title. I am using my channel name here and apply navbar brand CSS class. After that, we will create a responsive toggle button. So we will insert button with toggle collapse class. We will create this CSS classes later in this tutorial. Inside of this button, we will insert a line center icon. You can choose your own icon from Font Awesome website. And with FALG class, we increase the size of this icon. After that, we will create div with navbar collapse class and wrap navigation item inside of this div. So we will create ul tag with navbar nav class then create li tag with nav item class and insert your first navigation item in the anchor tag. We will name this first navigation item as home. To create second navigation item, we will create li tag with nav item class and put anchor tag inside of it and specify preferable text here. So I will use feature for the second navigation item. So I will increase the speed of this video and create pricing, block and contact us navigation item. Now we will create CSS style for the HTML elements. In the style.css file, we will create margin and padding for the body type. So we will specify 
margin 0% and padding 0%. Create navbar class and apply CSS style to it. So we will apply with 100% font family, background color and the color property. Now we will create navbar brand class and apply float left text decoration none this will remove border from the text then specify font family font size and then insert some padding and color We will create this toggle collapse class later in this tutorial. So we will create this navbar nav class first and specify margin 0. After that we will create nav item class and specify display inline property. This property will put all the LR elements on the single line. And to remove bullets we will use list style property to none. Now we will create style for the anchor tag. So we will specify text decoration none display property is inline block then specify font size and add padding and then specify font color white. Okay now we will create style for the toggle button. So we will insert toggle collapse class. This class was assigned to the button element. So we will specify float right property. This will move button to the right side of the screen. Then specify width and height and then add margin. background color and font color we are using RGB alpha color for this button because we wanted to apply opacity to it so we will specify RGB values and then specify the opacity of the color then create border one pixel solid and specify RGB alpha color and then add border radius and change cursor property to pointer after that we will insert hover effect to this toggle button so we will create toggle collapse class with hover method and specify color So this will work like this. Okay, now we will make this navigation responsive for tablet and mobile devices. So we are using media query. Media query is a rule for executing certain block of CSS code if the condition is true. We will create media screen and max width 456 pixel when the browser has met the 456 pixel of screen size then this CSS code will execute inside of this media query we will create the same classes but the different properties so first we will create navbar brand and specify display property to inline block and then specify float none after that we will create toggle collapse class and specify display inline block then create navbar nav and specify color white and padding 0 
After that, we will create a nav item class and specify display property block. This will create li to block level content and then specify list style none. After that, we will create a navbar collapse class and specify with 100% overflow hidden text align center and then add height 0 vertical height. We will specify 0 height for this navbar collapse class because we will increase the height when the user will click on the toggle button. I will show you later how it's work. Just for now, we will search for jQuery CDN. And from this website, we will copy the script tag and paste it just before the closing body tag. After that, we are creating a script for jQuery. So we will add script tag and create document.ready function. In this function, we will create a click event on toggle collapse button. In the click event function, we will create code for navbar collapse class. So in this function, we will specify navbar collapse class and apply toggle class method. This method will use for removing and adding classes from the HTML element. In the toggle class method, we will specify collapse class. We had not applied this collapse class to any of the HTML elements and also not created in the style.css file. So now we will create this class and specify height 100 vertical height. So when the user click on the toggle button, the height of the navbar collapse class will increase to 100 vertical height. We will just increase the height of navbar collapse class using collapse class. Just simple as that. Now the problem is we wanted to hide this toggle button when you reach the 456 pixel of screen size. To do that we will just add one line of code. Just find out toggle collapse class outside of media query and specify display property none. That's it. This will solve this problem. So when you reach the specify screen size, then the toggle button will automatically hide. This navigation will work for any type of devices like desktop, laptop, tablet and mobile devices. It is really smooth and responsive. So that's all for this tutorial. If you find anything useful, then press like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to Daily Tuition channel. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Till then be happy and thanks for watching.